this monarch's journey has really gotten me off on the wrong foot. I mean, the wording on this. Unacceptable. But now we have a new issue to deal with. We have grown, we have expanded, and we have lost a whole bunch of stuff. We only really have these two things and a little bit of all that here, which is all the wrong type of land, so we're going to give it away. We don't even want it. Um, I'm not going to give it to our heir or brother or anyone. I'm going to give it to someone who already exists. Someone whose heir we are. No, that's not really what we want. You. Have a wife. Get a child. Her. These things are really weak. I can't get him everything. That doesn't matter. Emirate of the... Ah. I can't give him anything because we have a council who hates us. Okay, let's check. Strong vassals to the front of the line. No one strong. We have made an utter and complete mess of things in terms of religion. We have Shia. We have, we have basically everything around here. Whoever hates us most. Will be our food taster. These guys really love us because they still love our mother. For giving them titles and everything. Just hope for the best here. Crown focus here, which does almost nothing. Wait. Thank God. I thought I had lost the du jour on this. How strong are we? How strong are they? We are nowhere near. We need to be... And we also don't have any allies left. We have only a defensive pact against us. Why must we be Sunny again? We do not have prestige of a thousand, so we. Uh, yeah, prestige of a thousand, so we can't convert right now. Would need a friend. We do have a friend. But he is also Shia. <sighs> At least with 12. We were kind of close to turning, coming of age. Let's see, what are we working toward again, anyway? Good ship. Let's see. Go by trait, inheritable. She's 10 and a genius. Let's get her. Gives us something with Edessa, maybe even Alliance. Nope. Ah, uh, yes. So now we have all these inheritance issues again. Cool, we become uncouth. I have a feeling that this guy is going to be as great as some of his predecessors in terms of what we experienced in previous Monarch's journeys. Not so much in terms of who he is. How many Miyafa side are there? Eight. 
Are you monophysite or miaphysite? Miaphysite. These are miaphysite. The 1000, 4000, 4000, 2000. Yeah, there's not much we can do. They are at war themselves. They do instantly bring these guys into it. 4000. Not really a goal for us to fight against. These do nothing. Our courtier was killed by the assassins. Great stuff. Fill these up. I don't even know if we can upgrade them to a castle. Stone Hill Fort, then we can upgrade them to a castle. I don't know how much that costs. But I definitely know that I'm not too happy with having lost these pieces here. That's considerably, considerably weaken us. Ah, not so much in the end. Why many troops do these bring? A bit. No more defensive pact against us, eh? Well, well, well. I mean, they would allow us to do it, and we, we would be able to hire enough people to do it. And they are currently involved with the Abbasid. Uh, you know what? You know what? We're going to do it. We can do it. Nothing's holding us back. Can't get a holy order in it. But we can get us some dudes here. Uh, Arab company. Lots of horses. How much does it cost us right now? Hasn't updated yet, so let's get our troops in a row. Everyone go here. You I will actually bring this time. So how much do we pay? Still have 14 gold left. We could get the crocodiles. Doesn't really bring us up to par. Or we get the Tuareg. Or the Bedouin. Both are pretty much the same. Except these have a little bit of heavy infantry, while these are primarily cavalry. Which is stronger anyway. Or the Berber. Now these are all the same. Hmm. Let's see where he is. Since he's leading troops, we know very well where his armies are. So up there. We have some time. If he starts moving south, we need to worry. Basically. That's the weak man. Weak man's... Way of scouting for the enemy. He's jumping all around the world. Right, I don't want to repeat from earlier, so we will get ourselves some... Helpers, and we'll get some helpers that also have some infantry. I think that's a worthwhile cause. Up 
upgrade to castle. Location is Shia religion. It ain't. So it has to have the same religion as us. Be upgradable. We have this bait army sitting around here. This is very deceptive because we don't actually see how far we can see. And we'll just bunny hop around there. Oh, look at that. There is some 6,000 coming toward us. 7,000. Okay, let's just link up. They will be here in no time. And with gladness. Are we going to get anything good at any point? Maybe. Potentially. Possibly. Hopefully. Thankfully. Okay, this seems alright. Everyone good is where they should be. Let's go with skirmish. And with... Castle infrastructure. And we burn the apostate. Always burn the apostates. Or half-sister. Matrilineally, maybe someone. Just a whole bunch of horde lords, H horse lords. Yeah, that sounded like it should not. Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. This is going to pop up here any moment because, of course, while he does have. Oh, he's leading that. Of course, while he is fighting the Byzantines... Oh no, he's done with that. So he's fighting a revolt and us. At least we can be lustful. Okay, there he comes. And he's jumping right on top of us, which makes me wonder. Does he have more troops coming? Well, let's just check how many troops he got. 13,000. Yeah, he has more coming. Um, time for the crocodiles to make a reappearance. We'll just send our own version of reinforcements. He wouldn't do that if he wasn't sure he would win. Yeah, there's more. All right. Then we follow them, but we will still call in the crocodiles. Because we don't trust this stuff. Let's keep following them. The, uh, how many troops does he have still? 10,000. See? That's why I don't trust this stuff. And he's walking away. So we will walk back as well. Link up with the crocodiles. I don't trust this stuff. I just don't trust it does have some higher troops and he's getting more higher troops as well we just need to out hire him oh lovely we inherited a shaktum up here fantastic well at least he upgraded it so he's coming down here now with his troops Likely going to go for our capital. We'll just meet him. Since he's walking through our land, at least we know exactly where he's going. At least with this one army. So we'll fight him here. With one of his armies. And that should be enough. And it is lovely stuff let's stand on these let's offer some peace 
And we can usurp the Bailabic. And I would like to grant it to this man, which I cannot do. Stand on our troops. Alright, so we've taken 50% of what we require to take to start working on this here. Bit of a shame that we never did it in her lifetime. And now we, of course, have to wait until either he dies... Let's make him a special character. Either he dies... Or... Time runs out. Oh yeah, hold too much? No kidding. Alright, our regency is done and we have become Midas touched. And greedy at the end of it. So, at least this was for naught. Not for naught. We're paranoid, so we're hard to kill. Which is good. Let us go for stewardship business focus since it fits us. And we of course want to groom an heir. We will wait for our wife to grow up. And let's check our laws real quick. Okay, no one can say anything still. We cannot embrace orthodoxy. And we do not have friends who are orthodox themselves so we could remain Shia but we have this wow okay our court is a little bit full with people I think we need to kick out a bunch what what who are all these people leave leave never had more than I was allowed to have everyone leave Everyone go away. Why is our so court so full? Who are all these people? What do you think we're running here? A theme park? Pleasure palace? Why are there so many children? Oh no, I assembled the mercenary company on accident. Darn it. Okay, this is a little bit better. Still have a bit of room there. Let's get ourselves some more wives. At least that's a, that's a net positive for us. Any strong girl? Yes. Very good. So she's our first wife. Quick one, young one as well. Get her. Now let's check our realm tree. That's just demand reconversion from all of them. It's it's a flip floppy time, but it's better to do it now when I can still afford to change the hearts and minds here. Good. But at least our strongest vassals will switch. Well, some of them anyway. Too many held duchies, yeah. Let's gain some sympathy for Christians at least, that helps us. Get this. I really don't want it. Now we start working on killing on him. People don't like us yet. They're not going to join in droves, but as we grow older, people will start to come to like us. Let's reinforce our troops a little bit at least. Don't need much reinforcing, but we should. Ooh, we could have camel cavalry. Those are fun.
let's ask everyone we can to convert. Because we're not really going to go back anytime soon. They need over 35 or something to convert, I think. These are some crazy uncertain times for all these people. But we're Shia now and we stay Shia. Let's check. She doesn't have anything going on for her. So let's, beside them liking us, we should also ensure that we get some solid alliances here. Not going to go for matrilineal, but... Well, not alliances, but non-aggression pacts that are forged in blood. Where you're going to fight them. Lovely. Now oh, we don't want to read the Miafa side, but I will. Ah, actually, not bad in terms of block power. Let's send this man over here to help because he doesn't like us anyway. So he might just die for it. Now Abyssinia took this over. What can we do for you? We press our de jour claim and you're going to send these guys in. You're stronger than us. I mean barely but still stronger and we don't have the money flow yet. The income that we would like to have for this. But really? Oh yeah. Plot is already approved. Could you usurp the Emirate of Arabia? Let us. died. Nasty bandits indeed. So the little one took our offer for a non-aggression pact and now I give him his own duchy to weaken his father a little bit. trust her word because we're paranoid we're going to always question if our wife is actually the mother of the child uh of we if we are actually the father of the child not the other way around there's sixteen thousand troops right now i don't know why he has so many higher troops but he's not waging any war Should we be proud? Let's be proud, potentially. Our wife needs familiar faces around her. Okay, we were warned. We shall heed the warning of a potential uprising. Let's perform some charity there as well. Helps lower the revolt risks. Still pretty high. 
We have a daughter. She is left-handed, which is not the worst thing in the world. Are we no longer in a bloodline? Okay, apparently we're no longer in a bloodline. Well then. Why can't we even go matrilineal? We're Muslim. Is that allowed? Matrilineal marriages are not allowed. But for some reason it is for us because we're special. We are very special. Extremely special. That's weird. Maybe all the flip-flopping... Oh, look at that. Got a Khan. Be our ally. And just in time, who are you? 11,000. What are we fighting over? Subjugation war. Wait, what? Why are we... Do I... Do I even have that? I didn't even have that. Are you fighting me for it? Dude! You got your wires crossed there. You're wrong. Get more strong women. Hey, you definitely want us to help. Uh, you definitely want to help us, right? I mean, why wouldn't you? That's just such a fantastic offer. Of course you're joining us. Lovely. Hey, you. Uh, we married our daughter way otherwise. So he's likely going to come for our capital. Uh, that's just really weird. So let's get our troops in order. Set them in our capital. Why are you even so strong? You're so small. So if we just sit on top of our um, capital, we should be fine. Yes, events born, 4,000. Is hired some more. No, we don't want decadence. No gold in the world is worth decadence. Let us have him be our court chaplain. He likes us. Hey, boy. Where are you even? You're somewhere up here, aren't you? He might never arrive. Then again, our enemy might never arrive. Really odd all round. Who hates us? I don't know who that is. Ooh, Siege Commander. Strong stuff. Our wife's pregnant again. Are we leading? We shouldn't be. We're really not leading material, honestly. Right, and now we just wait, I assume. We'll prop up eventually. 14,000 troops, that's a lot. 
So we should see him coming. Because he's definitely going to come for our capital. There's some of his armies. There's all of his armies, 9,000. Okay, he's coming for us fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves some more guys. These are probably in all he's sending. There's probably more coming. Get us the Bedouin on an, on contract again. Could go with the crocodiles. They're pretty neat. But they're not enough. We want superiority because I have a plan, a cunning, cunning plan. So we'll get the Berbers. We'll group these, we split these, we set one here, and one here. And he has to attack us across the strait into the mountains, on either side. There's no way for him to go around it. Or of course he can just sit there and siege us. That of course is an option. That he 100% has. So we will cross over. With our very much split armies. And... Move over here. Because we don't want to attack into the mountains. Let's try and bait him. Move this army back. Ah, oh, he's going elsewhere. Right, we need to fight him. There's nothing for it. We will attack into a desert. Better than attacking into... Mountains, definitely. And we are barely winning. Nope, oh, we lost that. For some reason, our lines broke quicker. Uh. Time to get the crocodiles involved again. Honestly, I should just always get them because wars where the crocodiles aren't with us are just lost stuff. So if we allow him to siege a bit more, he's inevitably going to run out of troops over there. Well, at least he's going to severely decrease them, but also he's at 80%. Uh, no, I'm doing the wrong thing right now. The really, really wrong thing. If he's at 100, he forces us into a loss. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, let's run into our death and our loss. Ah, we're so done. Oh, we're so done. We are so done. Oh, we're so done. Yep, we're done. <sighs> uh. 
a moment of silence for a really, really badly fought war. Really, really terribly fought war. Wow. I don't think I've ever lost so badly. Usually I know when it's over and I just kind of surrender because I don't like to... Wow. How? Why? Ouch. The pain. It's real. It's not going our way. But we will turn the ship around. And we're not going to lose to that little darn uprising stuff there. We'll take care of that first now. Hopefully, at least. <laughs>